What is up my fellow Vikings, there are tons of incredible armors in Assassin's Creed Valhalla but it can be difficult to know which ones are the best to use and more importantly how you can find them. That's why I wanted to give you my favourite armor choices and also let you know how you can obtain them yourself. This is my part 2 of my strongest armors video so if you haven't seen part 1 I'd highly recommend giving it a watch after this. I would also mention that while some of the armors are included in Assassin's Creed Valhalla DLCs, none of these armors can be bought from the store, as personally, buying just an armor set for £16 or $20 is not for me. No, don't like that. Enough waffle, let's get into it, starting with the Mentor's armor. This very cool looking and rather individualized armor offers an increased attack after critical hits and additional increased to speed, making it perfect for anyone who enjoys zooming around their enemies. You can get this one as soon as you arrive in England, but the pieces are in high level areas so do be careful. The locations are The Mentor's Cloak in the Loch Clumber Hideout in Snottinghamshire The Mentor's Mask in the Sherwood Hideout in Snottinghamshire The Mentor's Robes in the St. Lawinas Church in Guildford, Sussex The Mentor's Vanbrace in the Anderitum Hideout in Sussex And The Mentor's Trousers in Southwest Winchester in the Winchester Garrison this one is definitely a good armor piece to grab early on and will give you serious COVID-19 vibes. Next up we have the Paladin's Armor and this absolutely fantastic looking set can sadly only be obtained via the Siege of Paris DLC but has the incredible perks while whilst melee attacks consume more stamina, they'll deal more damage. And with all pieces equipped gives you an additional adrenaline charge bonus from attacks and shield blocks consume less stamina. Perfect for big slow hitting weapons with a shield in the left hand. In order to get yourselves this absolute tank of an armor, its five locations are scattered around Frankia as thus. The Paladin Cloak in Le Sioux in Western Everson, the Paladin Helmet in the Provenist Fort in the eastern part of Melanoir, the Paladin Chainmail inside the Defender's Rest Fort on the northern banks of the Sequana River in the Paris City, the Paladin Braces which are also in the Paris City but further to the east in a big stone building called Le Grave, and finally, the Paladin Pants located in the Medanta Encampment in Northern Melanoir. Please do excuse my awful French, I actually studied German at school. Moving on, we have another great looking set called Wayland's Armor, which while with a stupid name, this armor set is a very handy one to have equipped. It adds some assassination damage to your melee damage and will also add an extra assassination damage bonus whenever you equip this armor, pretty perfect if you like to use the relatively limited stealth options in the game. And in order to get this armor, you simply have to take part in river raids and grind for the resource of foreign supplies. You can then use this resource at Vance Shop to purchase the pieces of armor, but be aware this will take you some time, so best work on upgrading your boat's hull first so you can bring back more foreign supplies after ending a raid. You're probably going to want to do this one over a long holiday as you'll need 2,250 foreign supplies to buy the full set. Good luck. Moving on to an armor from the Dawn of Ragnarok DLC, we have Haridmir's armor, which is not only one of the strongest armors in the game, but in my opinion, also one of the best looking. This armor, which you'll find in the Hodder Shelter in the Vangrin region, can be taken freely, however, it initially comes cursed, giving you a meager amount of health and stopping you from being able to evade. In order to uncurse it and turn it into Haridmir's Blessed Armor, which gives you 20% of your health back with each critical hit, and a force field upon using a ration, though with a 50% reduction in your rations, you'll need to locate and complete 5 Blight Challenges, which are similar to the Curse Symbol Challenges in the base game. They are located north of the Gulnamar region, south of the Svaladal region, middle of the Svaladal region, east of the Svaladal region, and northwest of the Vangrin region. So once you've completed all five challenges, you'll have received the five Motsignus Clarity Runes, which you simply pop into a rune slot of each armor piece to turn it into Haridmir's Blessed Armor. Job done. A great success. And lastly, we come to the Brigadine Armor, which whilst you may think is an unlikely choice, and it's definitely not the most exciting looking, it doesn't change the fact that it is one of the best armors in the entire game. The perks include increased armor when surrounded by two or more enemies and an increase to melee damage, which for me makes it the most useful armor for those looking to jump into the fight with as little care as possible. The locations are the Brigadine Cloak located in Quatford in Shropshire, the Brigadine Helm at the Wenlocken Outpost in Shropshire, the Brigadine Armor located in Canterbury Cathedral in Kent, the Brigadine Gauntlet at Bemisfield in Kent, and finally, the Brigadine Trousers located at Dover Fortress in Kent. Whilst not the prettiest to look at, this is the absolute bread and butter armor of Assassin's Creed Valhalla and is great for almost any situation. 
Now, whilst two of these five armors are from DLCs, I suppose that is part of most game strategies nowadays. If you want new and decent gear, you'll have to give us your money, please. My part one armor video also includes a couple additions from the Wrath of the Druids DLC, which if you don't own is in my opinion on par with the Siege of Paris DLC. I would say though, if you're a fan of the main game, you'll struggle to dislike the three DLCs Assassin's Creed Valhalla currently has on offer. And if you're umming and ahhing about buying the new Dawn of Ragnarok DLC, then why not check out my honest review and whether it's worth your time. You may find that you're pleasantly surprised.